When a clip is added to the timeline, the end result of the procedure depends on the settings of the insert mode, the sync mode and the ripple mode. Based on our experience, you can usually work the fastest when the insert mode and sync mode are activated and the ripple mode is deactivated. Let's try out the insert mode first. A clip is inserted into the timeline cursor. An edit point is created, the new clip is placed in between and all clips on the timeline move down to the right. The Waterwaves music clip is an exception to this, however, because its in point lies in front of the edit point. Now let's have a look at what happens when the insert mode is deactivated. A click on the undo button returns everything to the initial state. An edit point is again created, but the old clip is partially overwritten and deleted, and all other clips don't move. Let's click back into the insert mode again. A very nice innovation in EDIUS 4 is the improved ripple mode, which is very different from the previous versions. It works as follows. When the in point of a clip is moved to the back, a gap normally results. This does not happen when the ripple mode is activated. Yet another innovation is the trim window. The trim window opens when the trim mode is activated or by simply pressing the F6 key. Let's first take a look at this clip. There is a sound interference at the end of the clip that is obvious to see on the audio waveline. The problem is easy to solve using the slip button. By clicking and pulling, the in and out points are simultaneously moved without causing any gaps. One could say that the clip, much like film on a film roll, is unrolled at the in point and rolled up at the out point. The other clips remain unaffected when this is done. Next, let's use the roll button to roll the clip onto the next clip a little bit more. The difference is obvious to see. Our clip does not change at all. The preceding one becomes a little bit longer and the subsequent one somewhat shorter, but no gap occurs. All other buttons function similarly and just as easily. Experiment and try out what they do. Those who like working with the keyboard will be interested in the following function. Assume that we want to edit out this part. To do so, the timeline cursor must be moved to a new in point on the clip and the target track must be selected. Now press the Alt and N keys. Finished. Pressing Alt and M will edit out the back part of the clip.